guys, it's Frocon, and you're watching another making a movie I do in the spot. And when I do, I pick random one genre, one place, and three other items, and I come up with a movie idea on the spot. I don't know why I just did that. Anyway, let's just get into it. Yesterday's one, kind of crazy, you should watch it. The universe works in magical ways. Action comedy, kind of my favorite genre. Well, action's my favorite genre, but you know me, I love comic relief. So, places. New York City, where I am. I feel like I've been getting New York City a lot lately. It's in here, once. Maybe twice? Maybe in there twice. And then I have like city in there also as well. Okay, here are hopefully good ones. I mean, I'm sure there's some here that I've never gotten before and there's some I've gotten like a few times. It's, the world works in mysterious ways. We got one. Two. Eggs. Okay, I definitely have not gotten eggs before. That's so funny. I was asking my dad to make me eggs for lunch, but he actually was at home. So. Sickness. I feel like I have gotten sickness before. And shed. Oh my god, I got shed like the first day. Oh, throw back to my first one, and now it's like 50 something. Okay, we got an action comedy in New York City, eggs sickness and shed okay so I'm kind of I'm not gonna like take my idea from but I'm using this inspired by this action comedy I recently watched with Mark Wahlberg and Will Farrow and I think The Rock was also in it and some other people but I'm forgetting now the name of the movie it was about cops so I'm kind of going in that direction where there's like a cop or or detective precinct let's go detectives and you know it's all men but then there's these two women partner teams um well they're detective team detective partners and you know the men are always so fe oh my god i almost said feminist no they're so sexist opposite of that and they make sex sexist jokes to them and also the fact that they haven't like solved a case yet you know and the they're new and they haven't solved a case yet and they're not good and so one of them so the two women leads one of them is way more like I will do anything for us to get a case and the other one's kind of like more reserved you always have that with a duo it's like one of them is a little bit crazier and one of them is more realistic so that's kind of the direction here and so one of them create makes some eggs one day uh, maybe there's like some, you know, maybe they make so many jokes these guys about like how they should just be cooking at home. So they decide to have a dinner party and invite them all over. And there's these like, you know, I don't want to say hard boiled eggs, but you know those like fancy dishes where it's like a half hard boiled egg and then it's like, like reddish, reddish, I don't, red stuff on top. I don't know. Anyway, they poison the eggs. So then all of them get sick. And so then they're the only detectives not sick, and so their commander or chief officer, I don't know what it's called, you know, gives them this job, gives them this detective job. Um, and maybe they also do all small jobs, but one of their big jobs is like there's like this shed in New York City, and they have to like investigate it or something but I don't know maybe they do all these like small detective jobs and they're doing really well and then they have these big detective jobs and so there's a lot of action involved and they're like kicking people and it's supposed to be funny at the same time because they're women and no one expects a woman to kick ass but they're doing it now they're like discovering all these they're actually no wait yeah they're they're completing all these detective jobs but maybe even before they got everyone sick there was like this really big like 
detective job that involved the shed that like none of the guys could solve and you know the one who's a little bit crazier is like to the other one like we are on a roll like let's do this um yeah maybe they like really boys and these people so they're like sick for like weeks on it. <laughs> i know right it's a comedy so yeah and so while they're doing all these small jobs they like start building up more and more for this bigger job and they're able to finish the shed job at the end and they kind of become top detectives in their unit at the end and finally get respect of the men without like a lot but with a lot of comedical notes because it's a comedy so yeah that's the idea you know there's hopefully the comedy aspect is there i don't know if you could tell but yeah, I feel like it kind of takes a little bit from that movie um, that I mentioned. I forgot the name of because it is detective, um, but it's a little bit different and it's also centered on women. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's different. I mean, it's also about detectives and two who, you know, haven't really solved cases now solving cases. So I guess if you want to say it's too similar, go ahead. But I think it's I think it's different enough and different enough and I don't think a lot of people know that movie no offense to that movie but I never knew about it until I wanted to watch some comedies on Netflix and there it was so but I hope you guys like the idea comment below if you like the idea comment below other items you want me to add to my items list and guys for watching like comment subscribe love you guys and bye